The Microsoft Band has been out for a while in the US, but as is Microsoft's prerogative, they did the same thing with the Surface Pro 1, it has only just landed in the UK. As is my prerogative, I decided I had to get my hands, or wrists, on one on day one. So I've now been playing with it for a couple of days, what do I make of it? This is Microsoft's attempt at a Fitbit style health tracker merged with an Apple Watch style smartwatch. Its closest competitor then is probably something like the Samsung Galaxy Gear Fit, but it's way cooler than that. Rather than straddling the line equally between smartwatch and fitness tracker, the band is definitely leaning more towards the dedicated tracker side of things, and it's absolutely packed with sensors, more so than pretty much any other device in fact. Specifically, it comes with a microphone, a UV sensor, a continuous heart rate monitor, galvanic skin response sensor, which measures skin conductivity that's telling the band when you're wearing it, gyrometer, accelerometer, GPS, ambient light sensor, and skin temperature sensor. All of this collects data for you to enjoy via the built-in display or through a connected app on your Windows phone, iPhone, or Android device. In short, it provides a very detailed tracking um, session during workouts, runs, sleep, and daily activity. In terms of productivity, you get the ability to see notifications, calendar entries, and incoming calls, and you can also respond with preset text messages. Windows Phone users will also have access to Cortana, and the ability to record voice memos and even respond to text with an on-screen keyboard. You can also install apps on the device, seeing as Redmond have released the uh, SDK to developers. I have Pimp My Band, which is how I got this cool Deus Ex wallpaper on my Me Tile. Uh, which is what they call the home page. Right now there's definitely more available for the Windows Phone user though. There's even a Pong game. I'm going to be developing for this myself soon though and I'll share any apps I create with you all. When I first got my device I was disappointed to find it felt uncomfortable to wear. Turns out though I had the wrong size and I had to get one smaller and then it was much better. So if you are buying one of these make sure you try them on first or at least carefully examine the guide that Microsoft supplies. Once you do get the right size, it should fit quite tightly, but there's a neat clasp for adjusting it as you need to. It can be worn on either wrist as well, facing either inwards or outwards. This is pretty handy as it means you can change the way you're wearing it depending on what you're doing. I prefer wearing it on my right arm during workouts for instance, and my left when I'm sleeping. That's because my brain is more used to having something on my left, um, and I find it a lot less disturbing as a result. Overall, it's relatively comfortable, though it is fairly large. If you're typing, you'll have to hover your hands over the keys, though technically you should be doing that anyways. I wore it when I wrote this review, so obviously it's serviceable. Having the screen on the inside is actually a cool way to wear it though, as it means you can check the notifications and the time without looking rude. Overall, it's just about comfy enough to wear all day, and it doesn't really get in the way during workouts. I wore it while working out with a punch bag earlier, and even that didn't get interfered with. The screen looks nice even if the rest of the band is a bit uninspiring. I actually like that it isn't trying to be a fashion accessory. It's understated enough that I can wear it like a bracelet and still have my nice watch from my fiance on my other wrist without looking odd like I'm wearing two watches. This was actually one of the big reasons I chose this one over something like the Fitbit Surge. Getting notifications is sort of useful. It means I'm less likely to miss an important text, which is handy, and it does prevent me from getting my phone out of my pocket so often. I like having my calendar on here too. The alarm slash timer is also kind of handy, as is checking the weather. Other than that though, I think it's definitely mostly Windows phone users who will get the most out of this as a productivity device. That said, Cortana is rumoured to be coming to iOS and Android soon, so maybe we'll get in on the action. Oh, and you can also pay for coffee at Starbucks with it. So there's that. What this is really about though is fitness tracking, and that's what the Microsoft Band does really, really well. In the past, I've been using the Jawbone Up as well as S Health on my Note 4. The band is way superior to those thanks to the built in GPS, constant heart rate monitoring, and excellent app. Of course, the Microsoft Band acts as a pedometer and counts your steps as you'd expect from these devices. But what it also does is to measure your heartbeat regularly, meaning that you can see how many steps you've taken and how that has affected your heart rate at each point. If you're going for a run, you switch on the run mode and it will record your heart rate even more frequently, as well as mapping your route on the inbuilt GPS and even measuring elevation. This is all then synced immediately with the Microsoft Health app on your mobile device of choice, and it lets you check everything when you get home. You can see your pace at various points during the run, you can see your heart rate mapped against your speed and elevation, and you can thereby set goals and see what's getting you the most worn out. The Health app is great, 
But what's actually even better is the dashboard, where you can view all this information in more detail through your browser. When you do a workout meanwhile, you can select that mode and it will measure your heart rate and calories burned during the training. This is great for something like high intensity interval training and is motivating while you're doing a session. You can also see how long you've been working out, which I also find quite handy. Also interesting is the unique option to go through branded workouts. These instruct you on which exercises to do and then use the gyrometer and accelerometer to count your reps and guide you through the session. Big names like Gold's Gym have workouts on there, so if you're looking for ideas, this is a pretty cool one. During sleep, you get your movement and heart rate monitored, which together gives enough information to ascertain whether you're in light or restful sleep. You can see how often you woke up and you can see what your resting heart rate is. One downside is a conspicuously absent swim mode, however, which is due to the fact that the band is water resistant, but not waterproof. This is alarming as it means I'll need to buy another expensive gadget when the inevitable band two comes out. The accuracy of the heart rate monitor is also something that's a little questionable with varying reports abound. Generally, it seems the consensus is that the sensor is good for a wrist-worn device, but not as accurate as a chest strap, which is what you'd expect. Your luck with it might also depend on things like your skin pigment and the visibility of your veins. I personally had no problem as I'm pasty and my veins are fairly bulging. The numbers corresponded with what I would expect and what I know about myself. As long as the device is consistent, I see that as being the most important point. Overall though, it's all very cool, and the plethora of sensors means you get a lot more information than you would from another device. What I'm most excited about though, is the future updates that are no doubt in store. Already Microsoft has been listening to users and adding new features like a bike mode, and they keep talking about how they're going to be making better use of all the information in future. For instance, right now you can use the UV sensor to see whether you need to wear sun cream, but in the future you could also potentially see how the amount of sun outside is affecting your heart rate during runs. The galvanic skin response sensor is currently only being used to measure whether or not you're wearing your band, but apparently it can also sense stress by sensing changes in the conductivity of your skin. And as more developers come on board, there's generally a ton of potential here which I'm excited to see fulfilled. Overall, the band is a neat little smartwatch, but it's a great health tracker. It could be a bit smaller and it would be nice to take it swimming, but other than that, it's pretty much top of its class. The question is whether or not you really need a health tracker at all. To that, I would say certainly not but they're definitely fun and useful for motivating yourself and for learning more about your own body. Any bodybuilder knows the importance of instinctive training, knowing how the next workout is going to affect their body and stimulate growth or not. For those who haven't developed this intimate knowledge of their own body yet, biofeedback via some form of health tracker is definitely a very useful way to develop this and to test the effectiveness of new workouts. For fitness enthusiasts, meanwhile, seeing stats and measuring progress is a highly rewarding process, even if you can get a little anal about it. Also, I love it because I like feeling like a superhero with a dial on my wrist. So, that was my full Microsoft Band review. Hope you enjoyed it. I tried to do something a bit more professional there. I wrote a script and I did editing and all sorts. So, yeah, if you found it useful, please like and subscribe. Um, I'll be uploading more like this in future. If you want to see the written review, check out the website, thebioneer.com. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.